the factors. Before the beginning was a cause, and the entire purpose of the cause was the creation of effect. In the beginning and forever is the decision, and the decision is to be. The first action of beingness is to assume a viewpoint. The second action of beingness is to extend from the viewpoint points to view, which are dimension points. Thus there is space created, for the definition of space is viewpoint of dimension. And the purpose of a dimension point is space and a point of view. The action of a dimension point is reaching and withdrawing. And from the viewpoint to the dimension points, there are connection and interchange. Thus new dimension points are made. Thus there is communication. Thus there is light. Thus there is energy. And thus there is life. But there are other viewpoints, and these viewpoints outthrust points to view, and there comes about an interchange amongst viewpoints. But the interchange is never otherwise than in terms of exchanging dimension points. The dimension point can be moved by the viewpoint. For the viewpoint, in addition to creative ability and consideration, possesses volition and potential independence of action. And the viewpoint, viewing dimension points, can change in relation to its own or other dimension points or viewpoints. Thus comes about all the fundamentals there are to motion. The dimension points are each and every one, whether large or small, solid. And they are solid solely because the viewpoints say they are solid. Many dimension points combine into larger gases, fluids or solids. Thus there is matter. But the most valued point is admiration. And admiration is so strong, its absence alone permits persistence. The dimension point can be different from other dimension points, and thus can possess an individual quality. And many dimension points can possess a similar quality. and others can possess a similar quality unto themselves. Thus comes about the quality of classes of matter. The viewpoint can combine dimension points into forms, and the forms can be simple or complex, and can be at different distances from the viewpoints, and so there can be combinations of form. And the forms are capable of motion, and the viewpoints are capable of motion, and so there can be motion of forms. And the opinion of the viewpoint regulates the consideration of the forms, their stillness, or their motion, and these considerations consist of assignment of beauty or ugliness to the forms, and these considerations alone are art. 
It is the opinions of the viewpoints that some of these forms should endure. Thus there is survival. And the viewpoint can never perish. But the form can perish. And the many viewpoints interacting become dependent upon one another's forms and do not choose to distinguish completely the ownership of dimension points. And so comes about a dependency upon the dimension points and upon the other viewpoints. From this comes a consistency of viewpoint, of the interaction of dimension points, and this regulated is time. And there are universes. The universes then are three in number. The universe created by one viewpoint, the universe created by every other viewpoint, the universe created by the mutual action of viewpoints, which is agreed to be upheld, the physical universe. And the viewpoints are never seen. And the viewpoints consider more and more that the dimension points are valuable. And the viewpoints try to become the anchor points and forget that they can create more points and space and forms. Thus comes about scarcity. And the dimension points can perish, and so the viewpoints assume that they too can perish. Thus comes about death. The manifestations of pleasure and pain, of thought, emotion and effort, of thinking, of sensation, of affinity, reality, communication, of behavior and being, are thus derived, and the riddles of our universe are apparently contained and answered herein. There is beingness, but man believes there is only becomingness. The resolution of any problem posed hereby is the establishment of viewpoints and dimension points, the betterment of condition and concourse amongst dimension points and thereby viewpoints, and the remedy of abundance or scarcity in all things, pleasant or ugly, by the rehabilitation of the ability of the viewpoint to assume points of view and create and uncreate, neglect, start, change and stop dimension points of any kind at the determinism of the viewpoint. Certainty in all three universes must be regained. For certainty, not data, is knowledge. In the opinion of the viewpoint, any beingness, anything, is better than no thing. Any effect is better than no effect. Any universe better than no universe. Any particle better than no particle. But the particle of admiration is best of all. And above these things there might be speculation only. And below these things there is the playing of the game. But these things which are written here, man can experience and know. And some may care to teach these things, and some may care to use them to assist those in distress, and some may desire to employ them to make individuals and organizations more able, and so give to earth a culture of which we can be proud, humbly tendered as a gift to man, by L. Ron Hubbard, April the 23rd, 1953.